Welcome back. The purpose of this video is to compare projection operator versus leakage modifications, sigma and E modification that I discussed in the previous two videos in an example. And in these examples, I am going to consider this uncertain system. Here is the W that is basically unknown time varying gain, unknown term, 1.5 1, 1 multiplied by 0 0.25 cosine of this term. So this uncertainty is changing between 1.25 to 1.75. Here is the, for the projection operator, nominal control signal. Here is the weight update low. Here is the projection operator. And here is the reference model. So this is what I implement for this system. This is our model reference adaptive control law with projection operator. And in this slide and in the following ones, first I would like to give the um, simulation code so that you can take snapshots, screenshots and implement for your own needs. I consider zero initial conditions x initial condition to be zero reference model zero w hat zero you can explore non-zero initial conditions here w hat since you don't know w uh, we often uh, consider it to be zero alpha is two for the nominal controller i am using a 50 adaptation gain i apologize there should be a gamma here um, yes now it is correct so I am using this to be 50. I am assuming projection bond to be 2 and projection epsilon 0.2. I am going to change this. And this is a tight bond because your uncertainty is changing between 1.25 and 1.75. So if you, I mentioned in the projection video that your uncertainty needs to live in this case minus 1.8 to 1.8 this is basically 2 minus epsilon and here this is minus 2 plus epsilon and um, uncertainty really on this interval basically it lives around here uh, 1.25 to 1.75 so upper bond is tighter and I am going to make I am going to change this bond in the uh, simulation and this is basically how you implement the projection operator in code and this is the control signal reference model and the uncertain system these are for data recording these are for plotting again I am not going to dive into details I just wanted to include full code such that you can take the screenshot and implement if you want to implement for your own needs I always encourage you guys to explore um, code it yourself uh, in MATLAB and explore. Um, as always, try to get experience not from the videos but also from your own uh, adaptive control learning attempts. This is the code with the leakage, first leakage modification, sigma modification. Once again, zero initial conditions. Here I am not using a projection operator based law. Here is the leakage term. Um, uh, basically, as I mentioned in the leakage modification video, sigma shouldn't be so high because if it is so high, it will, you know, you are not going to learn. Basically, this minus, because of this minus, it will try to, and you know, make your system w hat to going to zero. So you will prevent adaptation. Um, as this being said, this is how you discretized um, with first order Euler method and implement the sigma modification. Once again, data recording and plotting. I am not diving into details. For sigma modification and other leakage modification, E modification, I am going to use the same uncertainty. I have the same nominal controller. I have the same gamma. I am going to play with sigma here to give you a feeling of the sigma modification term. And I am going to keep everything else constant. And finally, here is the code with the leakage E modification. Once again, I have the same uncertainty. I have the same nominal control low with alpha being two. I have the gamma, which is again 50. I am keeping everything same. Here is the 
normal, uh, absolutely of the error uh, for the leakage E modification. And this is how we implement the E modification. Once again, this data recording and this plotting, I, I included the full code, uh, MATLAB code, and now we are ready to discuss the results. All right, I will discuss the results with the projection operator. Uh, <clears throat> basically, this in this slide and the following ones, this green shows XR, the reference model um, um, state capturing the ideal close-up system behavior, and X is the um, actual system's uh, uncertain system state. Here is the control signal, and this is the W hat. And for the uh, case of projection operator, here I mentioned that I choose W max and W min to be 2 and minus 2. I choose it to be symmetric. It doesn't have to be symmetric, uh, honestly. Now, here, um, I would like to mention that, you know, here we don't exit 2 bound, so that projection operator keeps W hat bounded, which was the, its main intention. And here, I will say this is an acceptable close-up system performance, which is sufficiently close to the uh, reference model state. So, uncertain system state X is sufficiently close to the reference model state XR, where the reference model captures the idea of close-up system behavior. Now, he here, I increased W max and W min from 2 to 5 here, and uh, because of this, W hat freely stays within those bounds. It doesn't get saturated like the previous case. And we have some mild oscillations, but um, this is an acceptable close-up system performance as well. Well, I am in practical applications, I am obsessed about canceling those oscillations. You know, although they are mild, I don't want to see, I would like to minimize them as much as possible. In the later series, video series, you are going to see that you are, I'm going to introduce more advanced um, adaptive control architectures and learning architectures to cancel the effect of such oscillations. But right now, um, we are um, moving forward and uh, this is a learning process and I would like to cover everything in order. Now, I am going to do something dangerous here. I choose W max and W min to be 0.5. Why? Well, I mentioned that W lives between 1.25 to 1.75, but look at, I choose W min and W max to be 0.5. This is a dangerous selection, and it is not a lot. It is not a feasible choice. Then you may ask why I included this plot, because this shows still, you know, closed-up system is stable, um, even though I, I make a wrong selection for the projection operator bounds, but the closed-up system is stable. Now, I don't want you to interpret this like, oh, well, I don't need to choose correct upper and lower bounds. No. Instead of using 0.5, if I use, say, 0.1, a more dangerous case, you are going to see that your close-up system may be unstable. So it is always um, good to choose correct uh, Wmax and Wmin. Here, I mentioned this 2n minus 2, especially the upper bound 2, is a tight selection. Um, you can always choose to be conservative like 5 and minus 5 and as you are going to see here we are not saturating so if you choose projection bounds to be 50 and minus 50 you are going to have the same exactly the same uh, close-up system performance so uh, if you don't know your uncertainties bounds be conservative choose it large um, your close-up system performance will not get affected all right, now I would like to show the results with the leakage sigma modification. When I implement the um, sigma modification code I showed seconds ago, 
you are going to see that here I am not close the following the reference model state there is some basically mismatch at the state state and this is for the case when sigma is 0.1 if we insert sigma increase sigma to 0.5 this is more evident that um, you're you are not at all following the reference model state so as i mentioned increasing sigma limits learning capability of the uh, adaptive control law so if you increase sigma to be one five you are going to see the x will behave like this which will be far away from the um, reference model state so keep in mind it is always good to choose sigma modifications gain to be 0.1 even smaller 0.05 to be on the you know you need to think about the performance as well right you would like to guarantee that um, you know close up systems boundedness but you shouldn't choose sigma to be large uh, you also care about not only stability or boundedness but also the performance so it should be small so that's why i wanted to that's why i wanted to demonstrate with sigma 0.1 versus 0.5 don't increase it too much and this is the results with the e-modification. Actually, for the e-modification, right, you had this sigma x minus xr multiplied by w hat. This was the error. I use sigma here 0.5. This is a very nice result, actually. You know, you um, nicely tracked in the reference model. And as, especially after five seconds, you learn. This is a very nice tracking. It resembles to the performance of the close-up system with the projection operator. Now, with the modification, if you increase it to one, you started to deviate from the reference model here. And if you, let's say two, you have more deviation. I have a similar comment. If you increase sigma, uh, it will limit learning capability of the adaptive control law as well. So, uh, what we have learned here is the following with basically if you are using sigma modification or e modification these are the leakage modifications um, don't increase their gains a lot they will basically prohibit the learning process and um, if you want um, a really nice modification that has the capability to recover the asymptotic convergence of the error to zero when w dot is zero it is the projection operator of course you know you may worry about how to choose w min and w max i would say choose them to be conservative if you have no knowledge about the system uncertainty well we discussed a lot especially in the last three videos projection operator leakage modifications and this uh metlab example leave a comment ask me what you want to know what you want to learn these comments and my responses to your comments are also important i try to respond to every comment let's make everything crystal clear if you have some misunderstanding of atomic topic I will try to make it clear and we'll go from there. And if you like this video, subscribe, suggest your friends. Um, all right, that's it. Uh, take care, guys.